Hi, this is Julia. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to activate Windows on a virtual machine. Now you can see I have a nice, fresh Windows 8 virtual machine running here. Um, and you noticed here, that's an indicator it's not activated because it actually says Windows 8 Pro Build 9200. So obviously it's not activated if you see this watermark on the desktop. Or on Windows 7 it would say it's not genuine or something. You notice it says that in Windows Activation it's not activated, so when I view the details it says the product key didn't work because um, when I installed this ISO of Windows 8 from a website, it um, required a product key for installation, but that wasn't one to activate it, it was just one to get it installed. Now, um, as you can see, it's not activated, and we have that there, and there's a lot of things you can't do if Windows isn't activated. Like, you can't personalize your computer if it's not activated on Windows 8. And no Windows 7, you can't even have a desktop background. It'll just be black. And yeah, you can change it, but no, it'll keep, it'll keep changing itself back. So, first of all, if you do a virtual machine, which I know a lot of you guys don't know much about, I, got, I get my virtual machines from Get Into PC. Um, they have a lot of um, um, operating systems on here, like a lot of them. I'm just going to get out of that for now. Um, so you can see they have a lot of like ISOs. You can see like Windows Server, or in, they have like I think a Windows XP. They have Windows 7s, but the ones on this website are not pre-activated. Like a lot of them are not... You, they're not, they're not activated. However, some of them are, like the Black Edition XP is. Um, but some of these um, are um, ISOs, like the legit ISOs from Microsoft that require a product key. So, you're probably saying, why would I pay for Windows just for a virtual machine? Yeah, right. Virtual machines are just like testing purposes only and stuff like that. Which is why I would show you how to do it on a virtual machine. Now, I recommend do not do this on your actual machine because I because that's kind of like pirating Windows, and that's not very good. It I think it's okay to do it on a virtual machine, um, as long as you obviously your actual computer has a legit copy, as mine has a legit copy installed on here. Um. If I look on my computer, it's HP, and it has like the HP thing and everything. So this is a licensed copy from the recovery media, so it's totally legit. But on a virtual machine, it's just for testing purposes. So I only recommend doing this on a virtual machine, um, just for fun. You know, it, it doesn't guarantee it's gonna last a while, but you might, might as you know, get it activated so you can mess around on your virtual machine. So it's called, this is a Microsoft Toolkit 2.5.3, it's a Windows Activator. I'm going to go ahead and extract the file to the desktop. Um, this pretty much works for all versions of Windows, I will show you. So I'm going to open it and hit yes. And anyways, hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, I just had to shut my door. So you can see that this is the program. Now I recommend if doing this only on virtual machines, it's only for testing purposes. Don't go out and do this on your actual computer because I'd consider that pirating Windows. Um, so basically if you're going to do that, just buy a copy if for your actual machine. Don't like do this. And besides, I don't know, it's just for testing. So you can actually activate Office with it with the Office Toolkit right here, but we don't have Office, so we're going to do Windows. Um, so you can see it says gives us some information. Now I think you're going to go first of all, I mean, I think you could go Product Keys, um, find your version you have. Now that doesn't work for all versions of Windows. Oh wow, they even have Windows 10. That's really funny because it's a beta right now. Um, well, so you can activate Vista, Windows Server, Windows 7, Windows 8. It doesn't work for XP though. That's one thing. But I'm sure there's pre-activated ISOs out there. So this is Windows 8. And it, Core is like the original version. But we have Pro. So we're going to go to Windows 8 Professional because that's what we have. And because you can see... There's all different versions, and Core would be um, like this Windows 8, not like Pro or anything. And I don't know. And there's Enterprise. We're gonna just do 
Windows 8 Professional, but you can see there's so many other operating systems you can choose on here. Um, and you, um, believe it or not, you can actually enter a custom key, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So first of all, we need to install a product key. So I, I mean, I probably could have done it without doing the other stuff, but I'm just gonna do it this way. So I installed a product key now. So now you go to the activation tab and you install Auto KMS. Um, and after that, I think you go to Easy Activator. So then we're gonna see Windows should activate. Um, um, only do this on like virtual machines and stuff. Don't just go to do this to your computer. I highly recommend if you're gonna have an actual Windows computer, you know, actually purchase a copy of Windows, not doing this method. This is just for virtual machines and playing around and testing and stuff. That's all I use it for. So you can see product activation successful and it's it's totally activated now. Um, but you guys are probably wondering, why is this still here? Oh, it's gone. It just disappeared. Huh. Well, it takes a minute for that to disappear, but it's funny how right when I highlighted over it, the thing just gone. So you can see it should be activated now. So let's go check and see if it says it's activated. If not, you may have to do a reboot. Yep. Windows is activated. So... Now that Windows is completely activated, now I don't know why it says view details on Windows activation. I don't know why. Um, oh, it, it never mind. It actually says it's activated. I don't know why it says it's going to expire on that day. I'm not quite sure. I think it renews itself, though. I think the after a while, the product key renews like every six months or something, which I think is why it says that. Um, so don't worry about it expiring on that day. I'm pretty, and even if it does, you can always just um, do it again. So that's how you activate Windows 8 or any other version of Windows 7 or Windows Windows in general. Windows 7, Windows 8, all the ones that were listed on that list can be activated. And I've done it on Windows servers, the Windows Server OSs. I've done it on Vista, but with Windows Vista, I realized I had to update Windows in order for it to work because it wouldn't activate. It wouldn't. It wasn't working right until I fully updated Windows Vista with all the latest updates. Keep that in mind. On Windows 8 and all that other stuff, and Windows 7 can be activated no problem. So it's a very useful tool for messing around with virtual machines. Now, don't just go do this on your computer. I'm not encouraging you guys to do this on your main machine or anything just for like playing around on a virtual machine or something you want to get windows activated um, if you guys want it, you can search it on the internet um, and there should be some other videos about it that have download links I'm not gonna post the download link of this video because for one thing I don't have it anymore um, I don't have the link anymore to it but it's pretty easy to find if you know what it's called um, so, you can actually activate Office with that thing, but what I've noticed, all I did was did the EZ activator on the Office, and it worked successfully. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it works out for you guys. And, so, yeah. You know, now I can, like, mess around with this computer. You can personalize now that you have, um, now that you have all the stuff. Like, I can go and personalize and you can't do this unless Windows is updated, or not updated, I mean, until Windows is activated, you cannot mess with the personalization at all. So, now that I got it activated, I can do whatever I want with this virtual machine, um, play around with it, you know, do some stuff. Now we, I think I can delete these because Windows is now activated. So... Alright, that's how you activate Windows on a virtual machine, so thanks for watching guys, and bye-bye for now.